Hey everybody, this is Rubble Builder, and I have here Captain Rex's ATTE. This is set number 75157. It has 972 pieces. If you're a fan of the Clone Wars, you're definitely familiar with the ATTE, the All Terrain Tactical Enforcer. And they brought this vehicle back to Star Wars Rebels when they reintroduced Captain Rex, Commander Gregor, and Commander Wolf. And what this is, is this is a version they've been cruising around in the desert for a lot of years since the Clone Wars ended. So they've added on, they've got all sorts of parts hanging off the side, um, lanterns hanging off the front, and it has a very steampunk feel to it, you know, with all the brown, kind of a rust color, some dark orange. It gives it a very cool look. Now design and construction is similar to the previous ATTE, most notably the legs and some of the structure, these panels along the side, the armor plating, um, the front cockpit area is similar, but it's definitely different construction. But the similarities kind of end there. We have a new platform, and so to do that, this back compartment is actually much larger, um, a different cannon on front. Um, we lost a pair of cannons here on the front to this platform that they added. There's another platform along the back of the vehicle. You can see they have the little folding ladder here. To access the back compartment, this light blue landing platform actually just pops off. And then you can see this door swings open. Here's a shot of the rear compartment. You can see that this is much bigger than the previous versions. But we have a little hook here for a little wrench. There's a little shelf down in there for a little mug. That's kind of the running joke, I think, these days in the sets. But then a transparent uh, read out there with a display of a Zupa that all of the commanders are out hunting. In this being a big chunky vehicle, they did include the handle that lifts up here so you can securely pick the vehicle up. For the cockpit, you can just open up this guy here, the front door opens, and then to put a pilot in there, you get this little chair and it's on this rail system so you can just slide the pilot in that way, close the door. We get a pair of the very familiar turret cannons on the front. A lot of detail went into these lanterns here hanging out the front, the little railings on the platform there. Towards the front of the vehicle also features these yellow platforms with some stickers on them. I like the inclusion of these ladders so the clones can climb up the side of the vehicle. Here's a look at the main cannon. Uh, this one has been redesigned from the old version. It's still on a turret here and it pivots here and you can see the spring-loaded shooter there with the blue missile there. And there's this cool little shade structure built so Gregor doesn't get a sunburn out in the desert. A cool little piece of detail with this antenna or a lantern, I'm not exactly sure. In this piece here, this almost gives it the look of a smokestack. And on either side of the platform, there is this lift arm system. So this spins, raises, and lowers. It's got the little rope here and it comes with two containers that hook on with just a hook and a little handle. Here's a look at some of the stickers towards the front. Kind of some pink here, we get a little blue and an arrow here. Stickers on either side of the cannon. And this thing looks like it's got part of a snake on it. The rear also features another pair of these platforms. And again, some cool detail with these yellow lanterns on either side. And one of my favorite bits when it comes to the color scheme the left rear leg is built out of brown and dark orange, giving it that rusted out look, you know, that they pulled this off of an old busted up ATTE just to keep theirs running. And all six legs do move. The, the middle legs swing back and forth. Uh, the front and the rear legs have a couple of hinges that way. Starting off our minifigures, we get one of the Star Wars Rebels Stormtroopers here with the light blue lines on the side of the helmet. This awesome minifigure is the fifth brother. They did a wonderful job on this guy. Let's look at his lightsaber there, kind of the spinning handle blade. He's got these cool shoulder blades that have the imperial symbol on the shoulders and kind of the sand green face with a really cool helmet. Detail and printing all down his torso. Just a wonderful job on this guy. And here he is holding his dual blade spinning lightsaber. Here's our two clone commanders. We get Commander Gregor on the left, Commander Wolf on the right. You can see they both have kind of military clothing. Uh, Commander Wolf still has some of his 
clone trooper armor left over. Um, you know, just kind of a mishmash, like they've been living on their own for a long time. I think uh, Commander Wolf's face print is the coolest thing you can see. He's kind of missing the one eye. Uh, he's got the black sleeves, which I kind of take as the under, you know, garments to his clone trooper armor. And Gregor has kind of this cool tank top and uh, some dark tan army pants. And the star of the set here is Captain Rex. You can see he's uh, bald now, so no hair piece or anything. He's still got his chest piece to his clone trooper armor um, and uh, one of the large Star Wars blasters and dark gray pants. So he's got a little bit of blue on that torso printing there. And you can see he's got the beard on the face printing. The only thing I think they could have done a better job with this guy is uh, some blue printing on the arms. I think this guy is such a beloved character in the Star Wars universe. They could have done a little better job with this guy. I have to say I love this set, but I admit I am not unbiased. I love the ATTE. I really like Star Wars Rebels. And Captain Rex is one of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars. I'm really happy they brought him into Rebels. This is a vehicle, when I first saw it, I considered trying to kind of build into one of my ATTEs to give it this kind of look. So I was really excited when I first heard the announcement that they were going to release this as a set. I think this is a great update to the ATTE design. I think they did some wonderful techniques. And I'm really impressed that they did do this as a set. You know, adding the brown, giving it the steampunk look is kind of outside the norm, I would say, for Star Wars. So I'm really impressed with this set. I think it's a great build. Kind of the minor little complaints I have. I wish the clone troopers would have come with their helmets. And also, I think Captain Rex really should have had some blue on his uniform. Uh, you know, kind of the blue shoulder pads. That's the look on the show and that we're familiar with him. He's a, really a beloved character in the Star Wars universe, so I wish they would have done a little better job on him. So thanks for watching everybody. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this set. Thumbs up this video and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I've got some great videos on the way and I don't want you to miss out. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll be back soon.